How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are taking on the Red Zone Tech, Rose, and Zamas. Um, we wanted to test out here the LRZ duo. We've been hearing a lot of bad talk about them not being able to handle these new stages, so I wanted to see just how they do in this new short content. Should be around here. Maki made me promise that I would give it back to you. This is something that I have to do. As a mortal living in this world. Alrighty, so we actually have a decent set up here um we have these guys in the trunks i wanted to test them out next to trunks but i know they kind of did they link all right with trunks um especially in their standby mode so let's kind of see how this goes um nice we got the setup for bomo we can get her passive up yeah so definitely turn one that could be hurting i could definitely see them struggling against fuse the moss um but yeah i don't like to hold that stage against anyone um, but at least here we can get a little bit of build, uh, turn one. Now this friend I believe is 55%, just like ours is, so we shouldn't be seeing too much of a disparity in the two, and of course they take a super slot one, so 350k, so, wow. <laughs> and that was post triple super, so. Almost wish we put Trunks there now. <laughs> but Trunks wouldn't have gotten his additionals in slot one, so maybe not. Oh yeah, maybe not after having a turn like that when he decides he's just not going to attack extra at all. But I guess that's a good thing because now it allows our second turn to build a little more, doesn't it? There we go, Bulma doing her thing. Excellent. Like I told you, King Piccolo was the old me. This is not going to end like it did before. Alright, the nice thing is we can run LR Piccolo on this uh, team uh, on a full 170, so we're actually going to go ahead and stand by these guys. We're probably not going to need it, but just in case. Please, everyone, lend me your energy. I can't die. Not yet. Darn it. Please, Kakarot. I, I need your power. You guys. Alrighty, so Piccolo should survive whatever he does. Even if he supers, we should be fine. So basically what this will allow us to do is build up the other Z duo and send off the GT duo. We're, we're going to try not to let them do too much work here uh, since we really want to focus on the Z duo. Actually, now that I think about it, since we're not going to die here, it's probably better that we keep them. Yeah, actually, that was a really bad play. We should have left the GT duo on rotation, now that I think about it. Alright, but nice. The friend here is going to pop off for us so we'll get a little extra attack and defense here and I'm pretty sure the GT duo oh no never mind I was gonna say the GT duo should finish but never mind the frenzy duo go ahead and finish for us Super Saiyan God. I never knew this level of power existed. All right, so let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and stand by the Z duo here. Let's do it now. It's time. Prepare for the spirit ball. Right. Give me all the energy you can! 
Whoa! Here it is! I'm going to buy you some time! Alrighty, so... Kind of nice entering the first phase here with the standby. So let's go ahead and grab all those rainbow orbs for them. Um, and let's see. We gotta set up God Goku. Make sure he can get his dodges off. So, yeah, let's take this orb here. Nope, nope, there we go. Okay, eight, so perfect. That's, this way he'll be able to guard and dodge for us because we don't have that much health. Trunks should be fine if it's all... Oh, perfect. He's going to super the Z-Duo. This is great. This is exactly what we need. There we go. And they seal him, which is perfect, because that can't attack anyways. All right. So hopefully Trunks pops off here this turn, so we can get a little extra defense um, and tank the normals. There we go. We get the additional super. I feel like he's okay with two, but hopefully we can get... No yes, we get the third. I was going to say, with the third, we should definitely tank the normals just fine. Um, uh, five digits, okay. <laughs> but it was post-super, to be fair. They, like, every stage in this event, they, after super, they raise their own attack. Alright, we get the double super with God Goku. Yeah, so, I mean, that's the kind of thing, so, so, I, I feel like I mentioned this on Twitter, but this stage specifically, I feel like is the good, this is a good test of short stage, right, because the first phase, oh, that's right, they can super twice, okay, well, at least we dodged, okay, so, this is a good test of, um, short, uh, short stages, because the first phase is just hard enough that they can catch you off guard, like, you saw, like, at type, advantage they st he still did a crap ton of damage to the z duo there um we're gonna grab that with piccolo good bulma gets her seven here and let's just send off the other z duo um actually you know what this worked out us not sending them off earlier <laughs> this actually works out okay as long as z duo doesn't take the super here i think we're okay um but like I was saying, this this stage is a good indicator for short fights because first stage is just hard enough, but it's not hard enough that your units can't do what they need to do to get ready for the final phase. Um, it's just hard enough. And then the second phase has stuff you have to play around, right? He can steal your units, which can really mess you up. Um, and he can super twice, so you got to deal with a 1 million super twice in turn. So, I mean, I feel like this is a good test of short fights, unlike the Merge Samas stage, which is just have 500k defense minimum for the AoE, and have a million defense for the super, or you lose. And god forbid he decides to do both of those things in slot 1, and in which case you just lose instantly. Um, which has happened to me multiple times, so... <laughs> it's... I, I just don't think it's a good stage, and it's... I mean, it, you know, more or less you can't have fun with the units there. Um, this is just my opinion. Oh, wow. z -Do still took a lot there. Okay. Um, well, we survived, though. And that is all that matters. Now, we should have been able to use Trunks as standby. Why can't we? Huh. Okay, well, I guess we have to use GT or z -Duo standby first. Then we can use it. Nice! With the 24 million no crit. Very nice. And we get that beautiful KO screen. I love this KO screen. You know what? That actually worked out. <laughs> Misplaying and moving the GT Duo over actually worked out for us because we were able to spirit bomb it right here with their passive up giving us the extra 80% attack. So, you know what? That ended up working out. Even though we didn't get to use Trunks to standby either. So, I'm guessing you can't activate both at the same time is what it's seeming like um, since it's considered a separate form. 
um so you know is what it is so anyways guys there is the video there is the lrz duo in a short form content um and they performed pretty well i really think the key is falling below that hp threshold early enough that you can get them to build in their uh second or in their standby phase right i mean honestly if you were to bring them in there i wouldn't bring them as leaders that way you don't have to babysit two of them but realistically getting them into their standby where they can then be protected by their passive and not take any damage while everyone else deals damage as you build um and then launch an uber powerful spirit bomb i think is the way to go to get them through these short content so i don't think they're that bad as long as you don't have a really terrible turn one so anyways guys that is the video if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let me know have you used the eighth year lrs in this new content at all i've been hearing a lot of bad things about them in this content but i don't I don't think they've been power crept that hard. I think Fuse and Moss put a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth and then giving people the wrong impression of how units are performing. I think these stages, if you are to compare them in a short stage, you can see they don't do too well, but they're still doing what they need to do. Um, we'll test out the, the GT Duo here soon as well, so make sure you guys tune in for that. So, anyways guys, <laughs> that is the video. If nothing else, thanks for watching. And aloha.